Legend of Tarzan, directed by David Yates. Um, he directed the last few Harry Potter films, and I think he did quite a few, uh, a, quite a good job of those last. I think it was four Harry Potter movies. Uh, also starring Alexander Skarsgård. You might know him from True Blood, and um, he plays Tarzan, or John Clayton the Third, or Lord Greystock. And um, we also have Margaret Robbie as Jane Clayton, his wife. And there's Samuel L. Jackson as a George Washington Williams. And we have a Christoph Waltz, who plays the villain, the big villain of the piece, uh, which is Captain Leon Rom. So yeah, I really enjoyed The Legend of Tarzan. Um, it's, I feel like it's a very beautiful film to look at. Uh, I think it's very beautifully shot. And um, I do really like David Yates' kind of style of direction. And he has a very kind of distinct look about his films. I just really liked how this film looked. It looked really, really nice. Alexander Skarsgård as Tarzan in this film, I think is great. I think he's, he looked the part and he played the part really well. And he surprised me, to be honest with you. I, um, to be honest with you, I wasn't really expecting that great a performance. I don't know why, but he did surprise me. I think he was really good, he performed really well, and he is Tarzan, and I think he did a really, really good job in this movie. Same goes for Margaret Robbie. Uh, she was great as Jane, uh, Tarzan's wife. And then we have Samuel L. Jackson, who provided the humour in the film. Um, it was a little, a very little humour. I think this film could probably could have done a bit, a bit more humour in it. But um, yeah, Samuel L. Jackson as George, and um, he delivered some really good uh, funny one-liners. And there's this one line in the film. I'm not going to give anything away as, this, again, this is a spoiler-free review. But he is, uh, basically, he's on the ground and there's an ape in front of him. And there's a line that he says in that moment. And um, I found that, that, made, that, that kind of made me laugh quite a bit. So yeah, the film does have a bit of humour. But I feel like it could have done with a bit more. Because this film, I think, I feel was quite intense. And I think if you're thinking of taking kids along, I'm not sure if kids are actually going to enjoy this film. Because it was kind of dark, we could say. But I think, if anything, overall, it was very intense. So we, have, we also have Christoph Waltz as the villain, the main villain of the piece. And he's a Captain Leon Rom. And I really liked Christoph Waltz in this film. And to be honest with you, I don't think there's a film that I've not liked Christoph Waltz in. But I think he was really good in this. He plays kind of like a very kind of dark and kind of creepy uh, layered sort of character. And um, there's a lot of to his past, which I don't feel like the film touched on. Uh, like it should. I think that the film should have touched a bit more on his past. Because I, I, I felt like I wanted to know more about this character that uh, Christoph Waltz plays, uh, Rom. But um, it doesn't really go into that. So you kind of see this very sort of disturbed kind of character. And I... To be honest, like, in a way, I kind of liked that it didn't go too much into his background, but and I also wanted it to. There's a scene which involves Christoph Waltz's character, Rom, and Jane. And it's a scene where they both exchange in dialogue, and it's a very tense scene. I really enjoyed this uh, moment, and I just really liked it. I really, uh, it, kinda, it was really tense, and in a way, it reminded me, and... Uh, Captain Leon Rom, uh, his character, it reminded me a lot of Dr. Rene Belloc from Indiana Jones. And that particular scene between uh, Rom and Jane reminded me of a, a kind of a very similar scene from The Last Cruise, um, from Raiders of the Last Ark, sorry, and um, between Dr. Rene Belloc and Marion Ravenwood. And he's a very, uh, he's a character with issues, and you could tell this character's got issues, but the film doesn't really kind of go into explaining why. And in one way, I kind of like that, but in another way, I just wanted to know more. Um, but all you kind of seem to, all you seem to know or find out is that they basically mirror images of each other. They're both very similar characters, both born without nothing. But Rom is, he's jealous, and kind of almost in a way, in a weird kind of way, admires. Tarzan and there was actually there was something announced in the news about them deleting a scene from the film which has uh, Christoph Waltz's character Rom kissing uh, Tarzan and um, they took that away and I, when I thought about it I'm thinking no, I actually I think they should have kept that in 
because I kind of like those odd quirky moments where his character would do something and it'd be like oh you know he's yeah he's there's something not quite right with this guy and again I'm referring back to a moment where there's a scene between uh, Rom and Jane and it's once Jane have left the scene and he just slightly rearranges something and it's those little I love those little moments and so I think it was they should have really have kept that kiss it this kiss scene in the film so okay yeah I enjoyed the film but is it a perfect film no this is not a perfect film um this film does have a few or quite a few problems in it I was very aware of these problems while watching the film but I just I just found myself enjoying it and it just happened to be one of those cases where yeah I could see this film had a lot of problems but I just enjoyed it one of his problems I think CGI the CGI in this film um is very hit and miss there are moments where I feel it was very good but then there were other moments where it was really bad um some people have just slammed this film for this straight out saying the CGI is completely uh, rubbish um I'd say it was more half and half there are moments with the apes I think they look quite good I was quite impressed but then there's other moments in the film, um, especially the green screen shots, they just look terrible. Another one of his problems, there seemed to be this film had trouble maintaining action, the action scenes, the t you know, the tension in these action scenes and the excitement. The action scenes lacked punch. It's almost a, they're a really great build up. Almost every action scene the film had had a really, really good kind of fun and an intense build up. But when it actually came into the meat of the action, it just lacked any sort of punch. And it was like, oh, is that it? So in a way, it's kind of like, oh, this is getting exciting. It's getting even more exciting. Oh, now, now we go in. And then all of a sudden, when you get the kind of cherry on the top, it's like, oh. And it's, I think a lot of that, especially in a couple of scenes, was down to the fact that the CGI in this film and the choice of camera movements at points just kind of destroyed a lot of what was you know built to be quite an exciting action scene and then it just kind of went up like that and then boom it just bombed uh one scene is a, uh, involves a train and it, you know it's quite an exciting scene yeah okay you get some of the georgie green screen and then there's this moment where tarzan is going to swing for the first time and when he does and they go you're going through the jungle and it just like really really bad so yeah the action scenes had really kind of exciting build-ups but were very lackluster and just lacked the punch that they needed and the impact the action scenes just didn't have any impact it's almost as if david yates had trouble maintaining an action scene and shooting an action scene he just um but i did actually enjoy this film for the action scenes i think i enjoyed this film more so for those kind of very uh the quieter moments in the film, the more sombre moments in the movie, and there's a lot more of those moments than there are, there are action scenes. And I actually enjoyed those moments a lot. And um, when it came to the action, yeah, it was okay, but I didn't really enjoy the movie for that. I was enjoying the movie, for, uh, what mainly the scenes where it goes back into Tarzan's past. Uh, throughout the film, you get these kind of few more moments, which explains. Tarzan's past and um, it's a past that we all know about but um, I like the way they were shot again going back to the way this film was shot it's a very it's a very beautiful looking film but then when it came to the action scenes that's kind of destroyed a little bit by the very poor CGI and very bad green screen and I think it's as a result of the very poor CGI in moments of this movie they kind of throw you out of what could have been a very fun and exciting action scene and it's like you're on, you're immersed into the movie, but then when you get that really bad CGI, it's like you throw them back out, and it's like, whoa, th that looks quite bad. And I was for the most of this movie, I was quite immersed into its story and what was going on. But then you get that that moment where you have that kind of very poor CGI, which the you know the film kind of relied on, and it just throws you out. There's also a lot of slow mo shots in this uh, film. Um, they work in parts, uh, they don't work in other parts. I think he used the slow-mo shots a bit too much in this film and I feel like it diminished a lot of the impact that certain scenes could have had. And I, I don't know why, they just seemed out of place in certain scenes. Also the editing 
was overall okay, but choppy in places. There were moments where it just seemed to kind of cut quickly to another scene, and it seemed like there should have been something in the middle of that kind of moment, but there wasn't. And there was uh, there was one moment at the beginning I, re I remember thinking, oh, hang on, whoa, hang on now, where am I? But yeah, there are a couple of those moments. So the editing is okay, it, but this does have a beautiful score as well. Um, so really, one of the biggest uh, kind of positives for this film is that it looks beautiful. It sounds beautiful. I love the music in this film. It's very well directed, and I I think all of the cast performed really well. I I liked all the performances in this movie. There's some really nice scenes and some really nice moments in this film. Uh, there's a moment uh, with elephants. And um, I really like that scene, and there's a lot of that kind of um, very sort of the somber, uh, subtle moments in this movie that I really liked. And I feel like the climax again, it, it all relies on the action, really, and how well directed the action is. And uh, it was really lackluster; it had no real impact. It was kind of okay, you know, it was kind of enjoyable. But the wildebeest, which you would have all seen, I think it's the latest trailer, the wildebeest were probably the worst looking uh, bit of CGI in the fit in the entire film. They looked quite bad. And um, when they run through the town, it just it looked kind of stupid, really. But then again, there were other moments in that kind of climatic scene, which were well, kind of well shot. But again, I think a bit too an overuse of slow mo when they didn't need to be. And the story, yeah, it's a bit generic, but it's serviceable. And um, I, I just really, really enjoyed the film. Improve the improve the special effects. It really bad CGI, uh, and very bad action scenes, and choppy in pla uh, When it came to the editing, very choppy in places. Otherwise, I feel like performance wise from the cast, very good. A beautiful film to look at, a really nice looking film, and a beautiful soundtrack. But yeah, okay, yeah, that doesn't make it a perfect film, no. But um, I don't think this film was that far from being um, a really good film. And I, I don't think this movie deserves a lot of the criticism that it has uh, received. Um, overall, I enjoyed it. Yes, I recognise that it has a lot of problems, but... Um, it I just found it very enjoyable movie. I do feel like the film should have gone a bit more deeper into Rom's past, so you could kind of fully understand more why he really wanted to destroy this character Tarzan, why he wanted to really kind of really bring him down. Like, and it kind of touches on it, but I feel like they could have developed that a bit more. I don't think this film is for everyone. I, I do recommend, I, well, I wouldn't recommend taking kids. I don't think kids would enjoy this film. And um, it all depends on this, what kind of you really enjoy when it goes to watch a film. Like, if you're going to go, if you want to see a film with really fun, exciting action, I don't think you'll enjoy this film. Because for me, it was more of this kind of quiet, more somber, subtle, uh, subtle moments in this film that I actually enjoyed. So, if you're expecting a really fun action movie, then you think you are going to be disappointed. I would be given The Legend of Tarzan a B minus. Thank you everyone for watching. There are a few unboxing videos due up, I think, this week. I, I'm sure they're arriving this week, and that will be Z Box Legends. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you all soon.